installing motorized blinds doesn't have to be expensive or difficult, and there might be a more aesthetic reason to do it than making life easier or just loving tech. It took a while, but we've finished renovating and have these powder gray aluminum sliding patio doors installed round the back. They look great and allow a clear view into the garden, but there was one factor I'd overlooked. It's a beautiful morning, the kids are having breakfast, and I'm about to sip my coffee. Dad, it's too sunny. I didn't realize how much direct sunlight can stream in on those rare sunny days, especially in the mornings. I need to get some blinds. But I don't want the solution to obstruct or diminish the view. For those reasons, curtains or Venetian blinds are off my list, and I'm going with roller blinds. But that choice leads to a different unsightly problem. With an opening of about three and a half meters, I'm using three sets of blinds. Each will have a pull cord, and that means the cord for the center blind has to hang there unceremoniously in the middle. And that's the main reason I'm motorizing the blinds, to get rid of that cord. If there is another way that I've overlooked, let me know in the comments. The easiest way to get electric blinds would be to order them directly from a specialist company. If you're happy with the style choices they offer, that's probably the most cost-effective solution. But even though I'm no DIY expert, I figured I could get the blinds I wanted from anywhere and then motorize them myself. The only catch is, since I'm fitting multiple blinds in this recess, I'll need to do it in two stages. I'm using one roller blind to cover each glass panel, so three in total, but I'll order and fit the middle section first. That's because the total width of the blinds will change when I replace the supplied pull cord mechanism with the new motor and mounting bracket. After checking the difference in width compared to what I ordered, I can incorporate that adjustment when I purchase the second and third sets of blinds. I'm buying my made-to-measure blinds from UK retailer Next, and they have a turnaround time of about two weeks on custom orders. The roller tube for blinds can vary in size, so I need to measure the inner and outer diameter to get a motor that fits. These motors also need a different mounting bracket, and I'll leave a link in the description to the parts I used. You can get motors with built-in rechargeable batteries that can be charged using a phone charger or USB power bank, but my one is mains powered. I'll replace this comically short power cable with a terminal block, and once the blinds are mounted, I'll connect them to the power. The width of the motor and mounting mechanism turned out to be about 5mm slimmer, so after measuring the left and right spaces, I've added 5mm to those widths to get a tighter fit. We'll see how that translates, but really, you probably don't need to. With the blinds installed, it's time to configure them. Although each motor came with a remote, I want all three blinds controlled by the same one. To avoid blind chaos, I'll power up each blind separately and then use the same remote for the pairing and height adjustment process. That process usually involves pairing the remote, checking the up-down orientation of the remote matches the direction of the blinds, and then setting the upper and lower limits. The exact button presses to achieve that can vary, so probably worth paying close attention to the instructions that come with it. But after that's done, if you thought the video was cool or useful, let me know and subscribe for more home hacks. Until then, adios.